Hi, right, gentlemen. Another day, another video. Uh, been trying to pump them out a little bit. Um, it's been a while, so trying to get a few things rolling. Anyway, new project today. Took my little Ranger, the 04 model, to be a line the other day. And uh, the guy told me, he goes, man, I don't know how you've been driving this because uh, it has no caster in it. And it's because I cranked the torsion bars up. So, my only option to be able to get an alignment on this thing that one, doesn't chew the tires up, and two, doesn't drive like a fucking shopping cart, was to lift the front end with a set of spindles and uncrank the torsion bars. So, I have ordered me a set of lift spindles. These are four inch lift spindles, and I've got the old one off of the truck. I got to swap over uh, the rotor and the brakes and the wheel speed sensor and maybe the dust shield if it'll fit. I don't know. I don't see provisions on here for a dust shield, so we don't need no dust shield. But anyway, they come apart pretty that gum easy. Um, I just leave everything in there. I got old girl on jack stand, and uh, you just take it apart. Upper ball joint come out pretty good because they ain't been in there very long. Um, bottom one wasn't, wasn't too terrible and it feels pretty dang good. I do have to put a tie rod end on it. This one's Pretty crappy. The boot's been busted for a while. So I got two tie rod ends to put on it, too uh, These are four inch so it's probably Gonna bring the front end up a little bit more than I like um, May end up having to lift the back end, too. I don't know. I didn't really want to lift this thing I just wanted it to set level but I can't get an alignment out of it, and it drives just freaking awful. And since I'm driving this thing every day, I actually moved jobs a little bit. And for y'all that know me personally, I'm driving a little bit further, but it's a hell of a lot nicer. So I'm doing about 130 miles a day on this poor little thing, and I really need it to drive nice and not chew up tires. So that's the cause for the lift. So uh, I didn't really take a before picture, but... I'm gonna give you an after picture. Here's it tore down. And then I'll show you a little bit of doing the spindles, but I know y'all don't wanna watch me swap out some spindles. So I'll give you a couple things that I find when I do the spindles, and then we'll put it together and give you an after picture and see what it looks like with the torsion bars uncranked and the lift spindles on the front. Stick with me. All right, finished product. Um, there is no, I don't know where I put my spindle. Uh, there is no provision for the uh, dust shield, no problem. The only problem I had was trying to get the wheel speed sensor out. It was a little bit stuck in the old spindle. Um, little persuasion and some double D40. Uh, she's golden. Bolted back in. Wheel bearings are good. I just greased them not a couple months ago. Fresh wheel bearings, fresh rotors, pads, all that stuff. It just swapped right on over. So we're going to go ahead and hang this on the truck. This side is on new lift spindle in there now one thing i did was brake lines were a little bit short so i just dropped them down a little bit that gave me enough slack in it i dig that the only other thing i had to do was i don't know if you can see the lip on the control arm i had to grind some of the lip off to clear the inside of the knuckle it's no big deal it was just like this lip here I had to grind some of that off to clear the inside of the knuckle so it could turn. But she's on there. She is on there. New tie rod end. I uh, had to put a new bolt in here. The kit was supposed to come with two new bolts, but my package came damaged, of course. We're not going to say who that was shipped through. Um, but I had two bolts laying around that were the correct length and size and everything to pinch the upper ball joint in there. So that's all good. So, she's in there. On to the next side. One side is done. It lifted it enough. I uncranked the torsion bars to about where stock is that I remember. And I had to jack the control arm up to get the tire on. So, I think it lifted it quite a bit. Now, if you notice, the rear looks kind of tall too. It's how it's sitting on the jack stands. When you put the jack stands kind of towards the middle of the truck, it kind of does this. When you let the front down so the rear looks high right now uh i think it's going to lift it quite a bit in the front i may have to get some lift for the rear but we'll just have to see 
there's one done got to work on the other side but it may have to be another day we'll continue this y'all keep watching all right second spindle put together let me show you what i did since i didn't show you the other side i'll show you this one there we go you have to grind this lip flush on the end of it and do it at about a radius where the knuckle can turn so you just grind it smooth that way the knuckle can fit up on there that little bit of a lip prevents the knuckle from going on so let's go ahead and install this side get this thing on the ground see what it looks like all right i guess this is going to be the big reveal i i guess there it is four inch lift spindles i had to uncrank the torsion bars quite a bit I'm pretty sure she's completely level. Could be nose high just a touch. But it's going to align way better. And just so y'all know, there is no lift in the rear. This is a Ranger Edge, and they came taller than factory. So that is a 4-inch lift spindle in the front with the torsion bars right at stock height. I think she looks pretty good. It did add some width to the front. And it even said the, the spindles add like a half inch of width. So the front is a little bit wider than the rear. It, it's fine. Maybe it'll give me more turning radius. I don't know. But there it is. Go get it aligned more. And uh, see how it does. Hopefully it'll drive a hell of a lot better and not chew my damn tires up. Anyway, boys, that's going to do it. Kind of a short little video, but a lot of people like seeing Ford Ranger stuff for some reason. Everybody loves the Ford motherfucking Ranger. So, it is what it is. Um, there's the spindle install. Pretty easy. Um, I had to do it in two days. I started one day and had to finish the next. I, I got a stupid schedule, so it is what it is. All in all, I think it took me about two and a half hours or so. Uh, of course, I did have to grind the lower control arm. That's no big deal. Um, but pretty simple install. Um, only a couple cuss words were used, so I got a couple in the bank I can use later on no big deal uh anyway boys that's gonna do it appreciate y'all watching more content coming you know all the good stuff it's been turtle man see y'all